Hai Zung has an economic scale in the top 10 in Vietnam and the top 4 in the Red River Delta with three outstanding advantages and four attractive elements of potential creating a driving force to attract investors in export sectors and global value chains. Geographical location, convenient inter-regional and inter-provincial transport networks and abundant human resources to meet the development needs of enterprises. Located along an international economic corridor, Hung Ming, Lao Cao, Hanoi, Haiphong. Strategic location and major potential from inter-regional development in the dynamic Northern Triangle, Hanoi, Haiphong, Quang Ning. Convenient inter-regional connections with industrial parks. Connected with Hanoi, Haiphong, Quang Ning Expressway. Three intersections along Hanoi, Haiphong Highway the dynamic industrial park in Bing Kiang and Tianmin districts on an area over 10,000 hectares. Located at the intersection along the Hanoi Haiphong Highway and National Highway No. 5A, about 25 minutes from Hanoi and about 60 minutes from Haiphong Port by car. Haizong Shou,ですけれども、日本企業にとってはですね、生産拠点、物流の拠点、あるいは消費者向けの拠点としてですね、非常にバランスが良く総合力の高い賞というふうに見ています。え、ハノイ市にも近いですし、え、ハイフォンですね、港湾都市ハイフォンにも近い。そして、え、工業団地も非常に豊富にあって、え、福田園
In 1987, Haizeng received only two small-scale projects with a total capital of 6.9 million. Over the next five years, it licensed 16 projects with investments of $448 million. In the 2006-2010 period, FDI inflows into Haizeng went to 151 projects with nearly 2 billion in capital. In 2016-2022, it attracted more than 3 billion in FDI ranking it 11th in the country. In 2022, its FDI attraction reached $368.1 million, up 15% compared to 2021. Haizeng now has 495 valid FDI projects from 26 countries and territories, with total capital of nearly $9.2 billion. We as a company invested in Haizeng uh, way back in 1995 when we first made our assembly plant over here. And since then, 27 years down the line, we have continued to invest in Hyzome to make sure we are able to increase our product capacity, production capacity, but also bring in new products and improve our quality. We recently just completed our investment of $84 million uh, to enhance our plant capacity. So, no, I think the Hyzome has been, has been extremely proactive. The Hyzome province leadership uh, and the authorities has been very, very proactive to make sure that they work through the policies uh, to make it easy for the businessmen and the investors to invest in the province. To meet the rising labour demand, especially for industrial development, the number of people of working age stands at 939,929. Trained workers represent 75%, of which certificates are held by 31.5%. The force in industrial production totals 485,537 people, or 52.2% of the total. Hi, Don Shosef, the support of this. In the first place, land potential, with a large enough land area for Haizong to plan industrial and agricultural zones, potential for the development of high-tech industries and supporting industries, potential to develop high-quality services, potential for urban development towards a green, smart and modern city. The total area of agriculture land is now over 100,000 hectares, while the land for rice cultivation stands at nearly 60,000 hectares. In the 2021 to 2030 period, the province plans to convert about 10,000 hectares of rice land to industrial and service land. In 2022, Haizung completed infrastructure at five industrial parks, and one industrial park implemented phase two of an area of about 1,135 hectares to be ready for enterprises. In the 2021 to 2030 period, with a vision to 2050, Haizeng will plan and add about more than 7,000 hectares of industrial parkland to the provincial plan. Haizeng expects to attract investment in commercial and service areas, tourist areas, resorts, golf courses, green urban areas, smart cities, high-tech industrial parks and industries and fields in green and sustainable development. Many foreign invested enterprises are increasing their investment and expanding production in Haizeng, such as Ford Vietnam, Zhou Ang Industrial Park Infrastructure, the Hyundai Kifo, and the Sum Denso. Để thu hút được các nhà đầu tư lớn và có uy tín vào tỉnh Hải Dương theo cái mục tiêu mà phát triển bền vững của tỉnh, chúng tôi coi cái việc thủ tục đầu tư là quan trọng. Tỉnh đã chủ động thực hiện nhiều những cái biện pháp cải cách thủ tục hành chính tạo cái môi trường thông thoáng, thuận lợi để sẵn sàng đón các nhà đầu tư với cái dòng vốn có chất lượng đầu tư vào tỉnh. Tỉnh đã thành lập ban chỉ đạo xúc tiến và hỗ trợ đầu tư do chủ tịch ủy ban tỉnh làm trưởng ban và có trách nhiệm đồng hành với doanh nghiệp trong suốt quá trình mà nhà đầu tư nghiên cứu, tìm hiểu và thực hiện đầu tư. Tỉnh đã ra soát những cái quy hoạch bổ sung quỹ đất ở khu công nghiệp ở cụ công nghiệp và sẽ đẩy nhanh cái công tác giải phóng mặt bằng để sẵn sàng tạo quỹ đất sạch
tập trung giả soát thực hiện lại cái cơ cấu hệ thống các cái cơ sở đào tạo nghề ở trên địa bàn tỉnh để gắn với cái nhu cầu về nguồn nhân lực nhất là nguồn nhân lực chất lượng cao đáp ứng nhu cầu của doanh nghiệp tỉnh Hải Dương luôn tạo điều kiện thuận lợi nhất để các nhà đầu tư đến khảo sát thực hiện đầu tư với phương châm là chính quyền luôn đồng hành cùng doanh nghiệp để phát triển. Hai Dung, a destination that facilitates success of FDI and at the same time enables local businesses to participate more deeply in global value chains, selectively attracting FDI for sustainable development, green growth and environmental protection, whilst ensuring harmony of interests between the state, business and people is the consistent message from Hai Dung Province.